Okay, hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin, I guess. So I went down to desktop and I can got rid of that Skype thing, so that shouldn't happen anymore. I might still get messaged on IRC though, but that's, that's not gonna happen, okay? Don't worry about it, guys. But I'll tell you again when it does happen. So now that we've done we have the Heights Tower of Flame, I'm not gonna go fight the Lord Dragon Slayer because I'm not interested in really in what's behind him. I have to fight this guy, am I? Did they add this pillar here? That's actually really cool if they did. It's just a small thing, but it's, I like it. Yes, I even like them adding a random fucking pillar in the middle of nowhere, but it might have already been there before. Whatever, I'm still a fan of it. If you can't see me right now, I actually have a sort of hat on me that says number one and from software below it. It's really cool. I also have a matching foam hand to go along with it. Yeah. It's on fire. It's actually doubles as a bonfire. You know, if I ever have a need for one. They put a cyanide here, which is actually way more threatening than any of these giant guys, and I actually forgot if, th if there even is anything over there. But if there is nothing over there, then why is there a cyanide? A halberd one as well. It's actually really hard, usually. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna come? Whatever, I got it. Oh, this sublime bone dust that I think was usually at the start of this fall thing. So, yeah, I got it now. That's good. Oh, and by the way, if you think of I'm gonna parry anything, <laughs> think again. I'm not parrying. Fuck parrying. I'm, I'm rather attacking stuff, you know. It's more challenging, I think. You know, the thing is that parrying is really hard. If you fuck it up, you get hit. And if you're really good at, but if you, if, but if you're really good at parrying, I feel like you're kind of invalidating a lot of the enemies if you can just parry them. So I feel like I really want to just try and attack them instead. Because I feel like that actually makes the game challenging for a longer period of time than if I was if, if I was actually ever trying to learn how to fully parry every enemy, at which point the game would get a lot easier. Because for example, some because some of the hardest enemies in the game, like the Cyan Knights, they can be parried. Oh my god. Fucking punched me for no damage. This guy is so fucking brave, man. Am I gonna need a fragrant bench here? No. I will need a fragrant bench. Who is that? It's not a regular guy. I've never seen this guy before, actually. It's like a merchant. I might, I might have, I mean, he might have been in the other, in the regular game, but I just don't recognize him because he's, you know, stoned. No, it's petrified. Yeah, like I said, stoned. Oh, I'm actually out of. Do I not have any more normal ones? I do have like three of them. So, please be here. No, she's not here! They moved her. Well, now I need to find her again. Don't worry, we're gonna get that done. We're gonna find a great little um, person again who was usually here, and it's gonna be good. He almost shot his own dude. That would have been awesome. Oh, he didn't fall off. I wonder, can he? Can you shoot this thing? Oh yeah, wait a second. I forgot these things actually curve around a bit. Yeah, these arrows actually curve a tiny bit. Well, at least up to a certain point. Whatever, fuck it. Oh my god, they put a dog here. No, he, he shot that. He shot that brazier there, and it didn't. Well, not brazier, this torch thing, and it didn't actually get lit. So, yeah, that's okay. I think I'm often, I'm very often in this wharf with the two-handed weapon because it's really nice against these enemies, especially with the stone ring. Just one attack from the bastard sword, just well, should stagger them. I can't guarantee it, but it should really do that. You're not coming in here, dude. Stay the fuck over there. 
Oh, attack me, sorry. Look at this guy with a fucking shield going like, uh, I don't want to go out there, it's so scary, uh, uh. You know what you fucking do, you go out there and you fucking fight the guy. And he's like, fucking, I'm, this guy's like shielding, You're like, no fucking way, dude, just keep attacking. That's what a man does. Also, Amanda does it. But a man as well. He also does this. Oh my god, I have no stamina. <laughs> Whatever, it's okay. Because this guy's actually crap. Oh, you see how I did all that? And then I... Did almost that. Whatever. I'm still not one-shotting these guys. This is actually really dumb. Also, you might see me using my Estus Flask pretty much never. But it's just because... Why not? Why did this guy not fall down when I attacked him? Also, I'm not quite sure I ever saw his model before. I might just be imagining him, but I think that model was actually new. I'm not quite sure though. Someone down here no. They still don't stop you from actually just taking that item, even though you have to go to a really weird spot for it. So what the fuck is that down there? It's nothing. Oh, they took away the guy that jumps down. Did they take, put something else there? No? Nothing else here? Just a guy down here? I almost missed, actually. What? What stopped me? I didn't actually see an animation. What? I thought I attacked! Weird shit happening today. But it's okay, guys, because we still have a lot of HP. And we're not gonna lose it, you know? Oh, this thing actually has a stabbing attack, but you have to strong attack twice, which you pretty much never do in most situations. I should have checked the ceiling again, because you never know with these guys. Oh, the jumping guy is over there now. Look at him. Oh, yeah, I'm jumping down. I know, he's dead. No, wait. The model. Okay, the model earlier that I thought it was new was just these guys. I just didn't quite remember the model. Also, the weird dog hand thing is not here anymore. Friend ahead. He wasn't a friend. Actually, he might have been a friend. Because he didn't actually seem like he was gonna attack me, but I have a torch instead, so that's good. You know, if you accidentally kill your friend, just take that torch and use it for yourself. Because then you don't actually need the friend anymore, you know? There's the doggy. Well, not... Well, I mean... The thing that was in that house, or that house over there, was these weird two-legged things. Well, two legs and two hands. I have no fucking idea what they were actually supposed to be. Probably some old demon, but... Okay, if I just kill this guy really fast, the guy behind me, whatever. Jump down. Oh, he still hit me. What the fuck are these guys doing? No. No. Oh, you know, I need more adaptability. 20 is not enough, maybe. And the stork. Dude, where did he. He's not in there anymore, is he? No, he's coming, I think. Dude. Where the fuck did he go? He's down there. Look at him. Oh my! <laughs> fucking rocketed off the edge. Like was on a roller coaster or something? And it just ended there. Yeah, that just reminded me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I never did that actually. Killing people on Roller Coaster Tycoon? I thought it was dumb. Maybe that's just me. Oh there's Mira Luciana but uh Lucina, no not Lucina. Lucia, no? Your name is completely different, isn't it? What is it? I don't know the... You are... I'm called Lucatil. Lucatil! Yeah, obviously Lucatil. From Mira. See, I knew that thing. So... Can you... Don't I? Oh yeah, she said... Call upon me. And I think I'm gonna do that, maybe. You know, I, like I said, I, I don't know about Souls Bros. I might use some... I might not use some... I pro well, my... My initial instinct is to just not use them. 
But I think if I ever feel like, ah, oh, I might as well just use one, then I might as well just use one. Right? I'm really gonna go by. What? I'm really gonna go by whatever I feel like. I think. More doggy. Jump past me. Thanks. Yeah, even if there's new enemies, they just still do the same shit. I missed the guy. I always miss you. Don't you miss me? What? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh. You see, this place that I'm doing is always just bum rush the enemy and stagger him or deal enough damage to him before he has a chance to retaliate. Which is, which is actually a really fun playstyle because it means you're, the game is actually sort of challenging and you can easily fuck up and take a lot of damage. But at the same time it feels really rewarding if you actually get it done. I'm not trying to be very effective or anything or trying to get through the game in a really effective manner that doesn't take a lot of damage or stuff like that. I'm just trying to have fun while playing the game and I think this is a really fun playstyle. Just taking a two-hander and just going for it. And it's, and it's, but it's, at the same time, it's also not a playstyle that is inherently bad. Because if you play it well, you still don't take any damage. These guys, however, are complete fucking bitches. I was trying to bait him into doing something, I don't quite remember what I was trying to bait him into. But I'm sure it was gonna be something that was gonna kill him at some point. I know these guys can get you to bleed very easily. Oh god, that was bad. <laughs> Nothing happened, dude. Why do I want to come down here? Let's go for it? Yeah, why not? Yep, that was good. Oh, this doesn't actually deal that much damage. Or else, th or rather, they actually have quite a bit of HP. Should've done it. I could like I could have done another attack there, but at the same time he might have also hit me on retaliation if he didn't die from that or if I missed. Which might have no maybe not killed me, but it should have done a shit ton of damage to me. Because it would have triggered bleed. And bleed deals such a ridiculous amount of damage in this game. I think it still does. Look at all these blood uh, things here. Like people getting wrecked by these. Which is okay, because the thing is, they are. The thing is, th even though they're easy to stagger, uh, and well, actually have quite a bit of HP, but even though I think they're not that hard, if you look at just their moveset and their patterns and everything, it's still very easy to die against them because of their damage and their reach. So you have to be really careful at them, uh, around them. So it's definitely forgivable if you die against these guys. Especially if there's multiple. Okay, I once died taking this thing. It's not gonna happen again. Which, by the way, happened on like my fifth playthrough of this game. That I died taking this thing. Do they still actually fucking go for this door? We'll find out. Well, kind of. Whoa, that was fast. I don't feel like going in there now. I wonder if Gaflan is still there. Oh my god, these guys, they want to know. They want to know what's like, you have blue eyes? I don't have blue eyes, do I? I don't know, close enough. Oh my god, what am I, what am I doing? Oh, how the fuck did that hit me? Whoa! Chill the fuck out, mate. I don't like two of these guys. It's probably why they put two of these guys there, and also at the other point. Oh my god. I've got no fucking idea what, what these guys actually are. Oh my god, I just got double penetrated. What the fuck was that? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Please, please. He's gonna wait around the corner, maybe? No. He went all the way back. Fuck this guy up there. I'm gonna kill this guy before the other guy comes down here. Maybe he won't come at all. That's good. 
Are you gonna? No. I'm down here, you know. Dude, there you go. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. What? <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh! I didn't actually think I was gonna get that. But somehow it worked. Oh, my thing is almost dead. My weapon. That's usually... That's actually uh, the biggest reason why I usually get a Souls Bro for the next boss fight. Is because whatever weapon I'm using is probably close to dead by the time I get there. So I'm gonna have to either use a shitty weapon or try and go for something else. Is Captain out here something else in here maybe? No. Okay, this thing is probably still... Oh my god. Oh god, it's the Gut Sword. I think I might use the gut sword because it's just so fucking cool, you yeah. know? So, also, not just because of that. It's just, in general, a really fucking strong weapon. Okay, is this thing still... Yep. If you go into, like... Actually, that was a bit far to the left. If you... If you look away from the chest at, like, this angle... Just, like, you don't want to go straight, but you don't want to go at, like, 30, uh, 30 degrees or... Actually, like, 20 degrees. If you go, like... Just barely out of sight from the middle one, and that's that's good. Okay, but seriously, now I need to do something about this. Do I have repair powder? I have two repair powders. That's really good, actually. Could use one. Also, I need to end this part. I'm gonna do it now. See you next time, guys.